forgot to tell you guys, this afternoon during math, one of my students poked a hole in one of my stability balls with a pencil. The wife the is mine with a napkin. I wonder why he wiped it with his napkin but not his sleeve. Yeah. He's not wearing a sleeve. I mean with his hand like Oh. There's that word, it's revolting. What did he mean by that? He said it's what's nah where was it? No. Disgusting. Disgusting. He said, it's revolting. So. Good morning. It's actually lunchtime. My kids are at lunch. And I did not get to film when I first got here this morning because I got up, got Paisley ready, got myself ready. We got out the door. It was about five minutes later than normal, I guess. Um, and then I get in my car and my tire gauge comes on saying that one of my tires is low. Well, I just got four brand new tires put on my car on Saturday. So I'm like, are you kidding me right now? I was running late to begin with and it was raining. So there is an air pump not too far from my apartment. It's actually in a parking lot at the gas station. And so I've been there before and it's, um, it costs a dollar. So I got there, pulled up to it and there's a sign on it that says out of order. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's raining. I'm going to be late for work. I don't know where there's another place to get air put in my tires. So I get back in the car, drive down the road to the next gas station. There's no air there. And my air, I mean, my tire, I can see, like, I can visually tell that it's low. So, that gas station didn't have air, so I went on down the road to the next gas station, and luckily they had air, and it was free, and by this time, it was only drizzling. So, I got out, put air in my tire, and then came on to school, and by the time I got here, it was 7.30, literally. I was walking in as my kids were walking in. So I didn't get a chance to film this morning, but it's been a pretty good morning so far, except for the fact that my internet has been really slow, which is annoying because I had a mystery Doug that I wanted my kids to watch this morning. And we had to postpone it because I had to restart my computer. We were late starting with our lip block rotations. It has just been a typical Monday. But my kids are at lunch now and when they get back, we are going to do science. We're starting a new unit um, on insects and life cycles and things like that. So I ordered caterpillars and I ordered a praying mantis case so we can watch um, the life cycles of those things. I actually got them at insectlore.com if you're interested or you teach second grade or life cycles or you just want to have you know, caterpillars and butterflies in your classroom. You can go get them there. Um, I buy them every year for my class. So it's really great. It's a really great thing for your kids to be involved in. And I actually ordered them on Thursday, I think. So they should be here today or tomorrow. I'm gonna go down and check my mailbox here shortly and see if they have arrived. But for now, I'm gonna get some things ready for when my kids get back, just real quick, and then go eat a bite of lunch. And I will check back in with you guys later. We are meeting today to do grades because grades are due by the end of the day. So I'm not sure when I'll be able to touch base with you guys, but I will see you soon. I think the anim an animals, I mean, an an bugs are insects because they're little tiny creatures and Insects are tiny creatures too. Mm -mm. Just draw it. Just do your best. Always do your best. You haven't even started. I know. How many words? Did you label the body parts? Not yet.
and show me 850. Eight fifty. Good, Abigail. Six twenty. I told you guys this morning we extended our school day for the whole month of April for 20 minutes so for the last 20 minutes we divided our kids up according to their reading level and ability and put them in different classrooms and so this afternoon I had 20 kids in here five of them were mine so 15 of them were from other classrooms and we are working on determining importance in a piece of text so I gave them all this article, and I don't think they really know who um, uh, Helen Keller is, so that was good. And I told them to just look through the photographs and the captions and see if they could figure out why this article was written about her. And so, you know, they gave me things like she was born 120 years ago and she rode horses and she was a teacher and things like that. And then one student said that, well, they were kind of talking, like turn and talk, and I walked around listening and then I asked somebody to share their thoughts and a little girl told me that she was blind and deaf. And I was like, yes, she was blind and deaf. And that's really, you know, can you imagine being blind and deaf? How would you communicate with people? How would you get around? How would you do anything? And so I think it was a great eye opener for them to kind of be like, oh, well, you know, that is really special about her. So we created this T-chart and I did an anchor chart and they did one in their literacy notebooks, but we read the first section of this article together right here it says Helen Keller was born more than 120 years ago she became blind and deaf when she was just a baby a special teacher helped her learn to read and speak Helen Keller did not let anything stand in her way and so then I said wow you know she was born 120 years ago is that interesting or is it important and so we wrote that it was interesting instead of important and what was most important was that she was blind and deaf and she didn't let anything get in her way and that is basically all we got done because it was only 20 minutes so I think for the most part it went really well though I mean considering 20 minutes but I think it's gonna be really beneficial in the long run so tomorrow we'll continue filling out our t-chart um, but for now, I, my kids read this book today, Wiggly Worms, in Wise Groups, and we've been working on taking a fact in a nonfiction text and turning it into a question so that someone else can find the answer to it. And I'm going to go through these and highlight a couple of sentences for them to write their questions for tomorrow and then they'll be able to share with someone in the group. My counter's a mess. My room is a mess. My floor is a mess. There's stuff everywhere. The desk. Look at this. They're just all pushed around and that fell off the wall again. I gotta put that back up. My camera is like not wanting to focus and the lighting is not what it was two seconds ago anyways 
Um, I am going to get some things done. I need to look over my plans for tomorrow. I'm not gonna be here Wednesday and Thursday. I have everything copied, but I don't have it all typed up for my sub. So I'm going to get some things done. And yeah, for the most part, the 20 minutes this afternoon went by super fast. So I think it'll be okay. Plus it's, um, you know, everything that we're doing is what the kids need. So it'll be, it'll be good in the long run. But I'm gonna get some work done. Paisley's upstairs. And I'll check back in with y'all before we leave. I forgot to tell you guys, this afternoon during math, one of my students poked a hole in one of my stability balls with a pencil. And this is what it looks like now. Let me see if I can find the hole. Oh, there it is. So I sent her mom an email telling her what happened and asked if she would send the money in for it so I can replace it. Those balls are $20 a piece and I am willing to pay shipping and tax, but I cannot afford to continue to replace balls when kids poke holes in them with pencils. I have been working on getting my plans ready for my small group reading tomorrow and looking over my plans for the extra 20 minutes of time tomorrow afternoon. I have some things I need to grade, but I'm probably gonna take those home for our um, book tomorrow. We've got to finish reading it and then we're gonna do some things with that. Um, look what I got today. I got my caterpillars. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. That's a little better. So there's five little bitty ones in there. They're kind of hard to see. Um, and this down here in the bottom is just like food, I guess. But you can see how tiny they are, like compared to my fingernail. They're tiny. Um, and they're going to grow really fast. So I will show you guys what they look like tomorrow. And look back here. I got a praying mantis egg case. It's right in there, and this is what it came in. Um, I actually ordered these from Insect Lore, if you are interested. They are kind of pricey, but um, I got this little pop-up net to keep it in because there will be 75 to 200 praying mantises come out of that little case. So, that is exciting. I'm just going to leave those right there for my kids to look at when they come in the morning. So, I guess, I don't know what I'm going to do. It is already almost, it's already 4.15 and I feel like I could stay another hour or two and work on stuff. But I think I'm going to head on out. I might be able to work on sub plans at home tonight. Just type them up at least. Everything is pretty much copied, I think, for the most part. I have a few more things I need to do, and then we will be getting ready to go home. We're in the car, as you can see, and we are getting ready to head home. I'm playing with slime. I moved my desks around again. <laughs> I want our desks It's to like the third time today. They only get moved around like four or five times a year. But um, I just moved them a little bit. Kept them in the same groups as this morning, but moved them around a little bit. And now we are in the car headed home.